Welcome back, Prime Mage. We're back with Seven Days to Die Alpha 20, the intellect build. If you missed the last episode, which was Horde Night, which we held up right there, I'll link in the top right hand corner. Yes, it was fan dabby dozy, amazing, magical, and I bloody loved it. If you did miss it, check it out. It was so much fun. Today, we've got a few plans, Prime Mage, or two key objectives. Number one, I want to get started on this today. Not just yet. I want to do a mission first. I believe it's about a kilometer away. I'll find it in just a second on the top right -hand corner in the Visily direction. We're going to go and do that first and foremost. I feel like killing a couple more zombies before we skedazzle. Do that. Come back. And then I want to work on the base. So this base isn't going to be like a horde base. It'll be a personal base. Something looking good. Feeling good and amazing. Without further ado, let's go and kill some zombies. Oh, it's brought us back to this bad boy right here. We've done this last time. This was actually quite difficult. I do recall. And this bad boy saved our life as well. So it turns out we do have a open trade routes, which we need to do after this. We're going to quickly do this mission right here, then do an open trade routes. Did I bring any? Oh, I didn't bring any repair kits. Oh, no. And in the bike, I don't think there is. There's not. We can actually fuel. I got. I went back and got some fuel from the base before we left. Put that in there. Bosh. Whew. Okay, let's do this. Do you know what? We've done this a couple episodes ago, but I, I can't pass it up. I need all of the things, and this place bloody provides it, especially... Right, so is there someone in here? Yes, there is. Especially in that gun safe. We got a tier 4 AK last time. I've not actually sorted my belt out from the horse. So I've got to be a little bit careful. If you didn't know, Primation, if you did not know, these medical cabinets right here, 50% chance of acid. No luck today, but that's where you get acid from if you need it. 50% chance right about there. I am not going to go too crazy in here today. I feel like we're just going to go probably for main loots only. Yeah, probably main loot only. Killed a few things to clear area. Yeah, kill all the things. Get the main loot. I'm not going to... Oh, there's a gun box there. I say I'm not going to worry about the little bits and pieces. But I mean, I, I kind of like gun boxes. I definitely will. <laughs> but I'm not going to get bins and that. Today, we've got too much to do to be worrying about that. Can I get you from here? Can I squeeze under? Can I do this and this? No. And this and do this. I can. Okay, good stuff. Open says me. Uh, goggles on. Yep, come on. What's something good? Something good. Oh. Do you know what? I'll, I'll definitely take that. We've got like three of those little tank mods now. Right, okay. Without further ado, let's open this safe. Oh, with 10 gas left. Uh, just load of crud. Give me good stuff. I need all of the good stuffs. Right, we got quite a few levels on Horde yesterday. Like quite a few levels. Oh, there's a Copper Rooney. How many do we get? Five levels. Not bad. The problem is now, I haven't spent them. So I need to make sure I spend them at some point today. You're not fancy dying. Thank you very much. I need to spend... Uh, where did that loot bag go? Did a loot bag not just drop? No? Am I seeing things? Oh, it might have been the yellow from the um, uh, from this thing just here. What's it called? Torch? It may have been the torch. Never mind. Yes, yeah, so uh, we have got a lot of points to spend. I need to get spending them, but I've not actually looked at what to go into. A couple of you guys did say someone said about going into electrocution, which we should probably do now, actually. That is a very, 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 very smart move. One of those. And I feel like I want to bang this to the top. So two points, three. Okay, maybe it won't go to the top. But all in all, I feel like if we put those, we'll actually get that extra buff. Yes, we do. So we, we could go ahead and and maybe get to like a 10 very soon. But I can get the 4x4 four four and a few other bits today. Ah, oh, so much stuff. I love it. Okay, right. What was we looting? I'm so excited today. <laughs> I'm so excited. Dude. Horde was great. And you know what? I, I feel like we've done very well. But I know if we don't get that whole base up and running and keep it, you know, Going strong, it is, it, we're going we're gonna to come out not on top next time. They're, they're going to take us out. So we've got to be a bit careful. We've really got to think out what we're doing. Oh, there's the loot bag. What we're going to do. Oh, no, 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 Sunny Jim. What we're going to do next horde and how we're going to do it. I feel like still is going to be a huge, 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 huge bonus for us. Uh, oh, so this random stuff. Nice. I'm going to take the coffee just because it helps us do a few bits. I'm going to take the golden rod. Oh, sorry, the red tea just for the efficient digestion. And armor. Where... Modify. Oh my god, my armor is shot to pieces. I. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that was so close. Oh, but you just highlighted the fact that there's a rack right here that I didn't even know about. Give this to me. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, good stuff. Any more racks? Let's check out for racks. Uh, no, I feel like that's it. Can I Can I quickly swap this out? What was this? Wear? Yes. Okay, so we're going to wear this and then we're going to modify. Throw you in there and then bong, bang you on even. Uh, yeah, I suppose that'll do. Put some mods in there in a bit. But let's keep killing. Oh, there's cops. There's cops. There's... What's these things called? Spiders. Oh, don't, don't shoot me, please. I haven't even healed from Horde Knight. This is not good. I haven't even healed. And just so you know, I found a way, Primation, to make this single controlled shot first thing into a fully automatic without any mods. I found a way and it's super easy and I'm going to do a video on it. So prepare for that next week. How to make this particular machine gun 
automatic with zero mods. Hello, little chicken. How are you? It's a shame I've got to stab you in the booty. Did I bring my knife? I did. Fantastic stuff. Take some of that. Some of that. Now, I need to switch to this to get the extra bonus for damage. I'm going to just get rid of this because, as usual, I'm carrying far too much. I should have thought about this before I left the base, actually. What am I carrying? How much do I need? That spear is probably going to be no use. Right, turret we have on our belt. This is going to be dodgy again, Premation. We know what happens here. We need to be ready. Runners came from inside that building and on top over here. So I feel like we might go up this ladder. No, because I... Oh. Oh, I thought I heard something. I was going to try and be... So, oh, 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 oh. There's so many things. Uh, guys, guys, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to loot. Oh, he's headless. Just trying to loot and you guys are going crazy. Calm down, everyone. Just relax. Wake up, everyone. Wake up. Right, and just like last time, are you going to run? Hopefully not. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Right, there's a cop and there's a runner. I just saw him. So like last time, use the wall to our advantage. Stand up here. This should help us just a tiny bit. I should probably use a shotgun because it's super close range, isn't it? There we go. You're also a runner. Get you gone. Army guys look so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Right, there's a cop. Uh, this one. No, not the knife. Don't do it. Junkie stopped him from, sh from shooting me. Junkie, you saved my life. I'm so grateful. Uh, you're stuck under there, it seems. Uh, you, couple shots. I feel like I need a point or two into either machine gunners or into... Uh, you're a big boy. Into machine gunners or into shotguns because we're doing damage. But I mean, just the more damage we can do, the better. I feel like shotguns probably a good shout just because of our horde base and the way it's set up. And also close range things. We've got junkie for long range. Maybe shotguns for some short range stuff. Possibly, possibly. Right, quick lootage while Junkie takes out a couple of guys. We'll take that, that, and we'll just eat that now. I don't even need this. We'll just give it a throw for the moment. Just trying to think of space and conserving space. Smack in the face. Get you going. Lady, don't give me herpes. I don't want it. I don't need it. All right, she's dead. She's dead. And a little bit of a reload. Cool, that wasn't too bad. There's still a couple more. But the main thing is we can get looting now. Can we switch back? We don't need to. All right, give me something good. My army trucks give anything good? I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, no, they do. What the hell's that? Oh, there's a crawly guy up there. Did we search this last time? I feel like we did. Nice. Return to trader. Done and dusted. Uh, no medical piles or things there. Right, I've got to get this gas super quick because although I'm leaving a lot of resources here and things, I need to open that hardened chest. And for that, I need gas. And I've only got 10 gas left. So I'm kind of picking this up just to be able to open the hardened chest. Done and dusted. You always come in handy for bits and pieces. Right, are we good? Let's open this. Let's open this. Let's open this. And uh, have we got the right uh, goggles and things on? We have. Okay, gun store box. Uh, a bat that we don't need. What's in here? Working stiffs. Uh, we'll take them both because uh, more stuff that's not even needed. I thought that was a zombie again. That happened to me last time. Anything decent. Couple of bits. Right, space. We've got a little bit of space. We've got a little bit of space. We don't need them. Full up good. Full up good. Get rid of the bones. Nice. Okay, let me smash this open. All good for the win. Come on, something good. good. 10 nuggets. 500 quid. Probably not even worth it. Something's better than nothing. I think we're good. Nothing else I know around here. Where's my bikey poos? Let's go the same way we came out last time as well. Right, that's it. Promotion. On to the trader. I am back, homie. I didn't go to Rex because when I do go there, I want to bring the money with me. Oh, look at that. A level 6 compound. <gasps> level 4. Actually, isn't better than we've got. What's this one here? To mount it. That might come in handy. That's a good little book. Ratchet. I, I feel like we should be taking that. Even though I don't really need or use it. It's a lot of money for sellage. Let's just take that. Yeah, let's just take that. Right. Any more jobs? Oh, what did I just do? Restock day 25. Oh, we restocked today. Oh, we restocked today. Okay. Uh, anvils. Uh, a oh, chainsaw. First one I've seen. <laughs> oh, nice. What's this here? Cigars. Oh, that's not a bad shout. For some sexy tea stuffs, maybe. I don't know. Cigars. What's this one here? Bows do more. Eh, better up. We don't need. Okay, chainsaw's not a bad shout. What else has he got? Chiam I'll take that. Fast bellows. We can't make them. I'll take that. Okay, so he's really not got much. That's. Uh, I, I might buy the cement just to get more concrete going super quick rather than have to burn it in. But we're not going to use this. Let's sell some of this off. Get rid of you. 
all four of you. I know you guys keep saying about shift click, and honestly, I just don't do it now because I know it annoys some of you, <laughs> and it's quite fun. Uh, can we sell you? We can't. We've got loads of these, and we don't need three of these. We've got quite a few. Sell, sell, sell. I feel like the rest we could probably keep. This could go. Uh, do we keep that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, we'll keep that. It's better than what we've got. This back can go. Yes. Okay, so buy this just to make things a bit easier. Nice. We've got sham childers. That's really about it. You best be on your way. Right, all tier four, six kilometers, eight kilometers south. What the hell is eight kilometers south? Holy, oh, it could be another desert town. Oh my Jesus Christ, that's far. It could be another desert town or it could be in the wasteland. <sighs> should we take it for the poos and giggles? Let's take it for the poos and giggles. Uh, show me your job, sir. Can you give me the uh, an old Tudor house that's 8k away? Right, where are you? Wow, you are literally at the bottom, bottom of the map. Oh, holy cow, that's far away. Wow, that's far. Okay, cool, not a problem at all. I feel like we should probably go there and see what's going on over in that latterly direction. Boom, let's go and see what's happening with this airdrop. Uh, hello, my good sir. Can we turn around? No, that would be a tree. Turn around. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, goggles are on. Something decent, come on. What's this? Scrap armor bundle? We'll take it all. Oh, someone's coming. Uh, scrap armor bundle, hopping. Level three, everything. Although it's worse than what we have. <laughs> it's worse than what we have. Saying that, we've got a couple points into strength. If we really wanted to, we could put points into armor, into, into heavy armor. And actually go down heavy armor route if we wanted to. And have a mix between the intelligence and the strength. We could, but um, I'm not sure. Either way, back to base, it's building time. Oh, corn. Oh, corn. Was that bear? No, it wasn't. Corn. I need corn. Corn is important. So I have um, obviously in a dire situation when it comes to food. I have been looking around for farms and, and food in general. And I want to go to Rex, but I want to go with the money, which I was going to do this morning, but I didn't bring the money with me. And that's why I didn't go after we've done the mission. I want to see if Rex has corn, because with corn, we can make like meat stews and all the good stuff. Corn is the one thing we're missing. So if I can grab these super quick, we should be able to make our own food. And then maybe a bit later, if it in there? No. Maybe a bit later, head down to Rex and see what he can sell us. If he's any food for us as well. We're done. We are cool. Okay, right, right. Building time. Uh-oh, 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 you cheeky little devil. I found more corn, and I just stopped to quickly grab it. And this little guy's bones, fat, leather. Eh, we don't really need that anymore. Uh, yeah, I found more corn, so I stopped to get it. And that little guy come running at me, the cheeky little devil. Last bit, I think. Yeah, last bit. Okay, all of the food's definitely building time now. I promise, Primation. No more farmage, just building. Okay. Primation, definitely building time. So this right here is what goes down into our little mine that connects that to this. And over here, which is going to be, I'll let you know now, a factory. I want to have a factory built over that lead direction opposite the hall base. A main base here. And I might do something with this or change it something else. But for now, main base, factory, Horde base, and I'll also make out with this a bit later, maybe turn it into a farm or something at a later date. So there we need to leave open, or at least have something in. I'm thinking like a well. Um, I said before, like a fountain, and then like in the traders, like in the trader. So in the middle of the well or the fountain is a way down where we can kind of connect one thing to another. So what I want to do is when I come inside here and I turn to the left, this is kind of where I want my house to be facing that way. So you can see the horde base, you can see everything. I don't really want it facing it. Do I want it facing a trader? I don't know, I kind of didn't, but at the same time, it kind of makes sense because the factory's going to be really big. Do you know what? We will have it facing this way and uh, bugger, bugger, I screwed this up. Do you know what? That will be a feature. Ah, oh, do you know what? I get so much frame rate issues here. Where I've built this big floor, it just gives me so much issues. Anyway, right. Let's start work on the base itself. So if we're coming in here, this is central. One, two, three, four. Bang. That's where we're starting. No questions asked. It's done. Oh, the frame rate is killing me. Okay, XW advice to turn off dynamic mesh and it should save your frame rate. I'm doing that and it seems a bit better. Oh, no, it's still jumping up and down. We're going to continue nonetheless. We're going to keep continuing. So what I want now, what I want is when we approach the base, I want to weigh up like a way to step up. So that will be this bit right here, I think. Yeah, this bit right here. So that'll be the steps. Let's get some steps going. Bang, 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 bang. No handrails, just straight in. Bosh. And then over here... We're gonna have like a bit of a, a bit of a, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a patio, not like a, an entrance way, like a porch, like a porch. So it's gonna come forward, go in. So we're gonna need this back a few. So let's put this there, 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 there. And I put that next to it, I did. So another one here, another one here. Look how clear and beautiful it is. Clear and absolutely beautiful. And as it comes into about here, this will be the actual beginning of the room. So we're gonna come into the main base itself. We go up the stairs, into the doors that'll be here, and 
banger into the room. And again, we can sort that at a later date. Then that means that the actual house itself will start probably back here as well. At one or two, I'm thinking. Maybe one. Let's go one. Three, four. And then go this way for one, two, three, four as well. Like a so. And then here, I need to maybe mess with some half blocks. Uh, is that a half block? Cube half, that'll do. So what I want to do is actually not bring this out the full width, but bring it out just ever so slightly. And it won't, uh, purely for aesthetics, this base is going to be, or this, this thing we're building now is purely for aesthetics. So maybe like that and the same over here. So whatever we do now, we're not taking into account zombies. This is purely to look good is all it's for. And then if we go back into copy and have this bit right here. And then what we're going to have there is like some windows or some bits hanging out right there. Maybe to the left, right, we might, yeah, we'll change to the right, but that'll be the left-hand side. Let's work on the left first. Let's work on the beginning and the left, and then we can merge over to the right and do different bits. I feel like we need to go left another, like, five, six blocks, maybe even ten blocks. But that should be well and good. Let's bring this one more. Nah, that should be good. Let's leave that. Let's bring this back about five or six. So changing my mind about this area over here already, I feel like we're going to take out these two blocks. I feel like we're going to stick a garage here instead. I was going to have a symmetrical kind of house with a little bit of, you know, differences on kind of like the west and the east or the, the south and north side. But I feel like I'm just going to expand this out. We're actually going to put a, put a garage right here, I, I, I think. So we're going to have to leave that kind of flush to the floor then. In that case, yeah, we'll definitely leave the right hand side. But we're coming to the front here. Head in the front. And now we need to make the little porchy area. So I'm thinking we're going to use small blocks as like, as to give it characteristics. I am not very good at building programmation. So do bear with. I, I may use the wrong terminology or say the wrong thing. Just remember, monkey brain small. Monkey brain tried to build. Monkey brain can't think properly. Okay, just remember that and we'll be fine today. So we're going to go over here. This is where, again, we're going to put some nice glass in here. Uh, is that going to be the floor layer? We're going to be standing this. I feel like we need to bring this up one more. So if we do this, and then we do this, bang. Oh, crap. Oh, that wasn't supposed to go there. Nice. Like that. And then up there, we're going to have some glass so we can look out. So then we need to copy rotation. Uh, no, sorry. Copy block. Copy rotation. So I'm thinking for this small area here, we use the Yield Faithful Arch 01. If we can advance rotate this bad boy like a so... I, do, I have used these quite a lot in the past, and I think they look bloody brilliant. Just to give it that non square look, and just give it a bit more of a, a something, something going on. So if we can kind of do this, I might leave that top bit. But at least it's not so, at least it's not square. Anything that's not square is a good thing. Now let's put another side. Oh, sorry, let's, let's match the other side as well. Then on the top, we'll figure something out for the top shortly. That's okay. So we're going to come in here. I'm going to have glass on the outside. Doors in the center. See, so come into the doors. Bang, you're in the building. This will be quite high. This will be probably, you know, two to three stories. Like, you know, ground floor, first floor, and attic. So we are going to work quite big on this. Let's uh, put one of these here. I'm trying to figure out now, Primation. Trying to figure out where I want a set of windows. And I feel like... I feel like that might be a good place for the first lot of windows. Yeah, that should be good. And then the second lot could be in here. Just to give it a bit more of a depth. Or a bit more, a bit more depth, even. And we could switch this out at a later date. Just trying to make it look a bit more nicer. Yeah, that's okay. That's not too bad. So this is the corner part. Should we make the corner part circular? No, we shouldn't. Because I have a plan for the corner part. I do have a plan. Actually, come to think about it, I need paint. Paint will make this base look so good. And I've got so much of it. So that's brilliant. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's make this bottom layer... Uh, sorry, fill in this bottom layer as well. Looking good. I love that we're going straight to cobble. It's making things super quick. <laughs> super quick and super easy. So this is what we're looking at so far. I'm going to do other bits and pieces. But I'm kind of going to show you a little bit step by step by step. So right here, I need to put something in here so it's not flat. Let's see what options we have. What's this? Plate wedge. You look pretty cool. You say 60. Are you a full wedge? Uh, let's advance rotate. Oh. Oh. A little something something. They're going to be painted as well. Uh, is there a wedge that goes like a corner? What are you? Corner wedge. Will you fit? Oh, you're quite chunky. You're, you're a chunky boy. Go down there, chunky boy. Oh, that's much better. Oh, that is, that's kind of what I was looking for. Oh, good stuff. So you're called a ramp filler. Ramp incline filler. Ramp half. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Wedge. We don't want wedge. We want filler. Let's type in filler. See what comes up. Mm, I'm guessing... I'm guessing you. Yes, it is you. Can we copy rotation? Uh, yes, that's what I want. Let's get this going around as well. Bugger, these half blocks are going to be my downfall. I didn't want it to poke out as much as that, but I can't put the filler blocks on there. 
if I have it as a half block, can I? Ah, that's going to bug me up. That's going to bug me up. I don't want it sticking out like with a lip at the bottom, for example. Uh, not a very good example here, but you get what I mean. Like, uh, yeah, kind of like that. If I have like a straight bit with a lip at the bottom, it won't look as good. So I may actually have to replace these with four blocks. Bang, 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 bang. And then we can go back onto uh, these bad boys right here. Copy these. Oh, no. Uh, copy these. Yes. And bugger. More, more breaking out. Okay. Bang, bang. Off cam, I'll find these little inserts just here. I'll find out what they are. I can repair this now, actually. I'll find out what they are, and I'll, I'll get those plugged in off cam. So let's see what we're rocking with so far. How's it looking lower layer? Doesn't look that good, but trust me, once the paint's on and the windows are in, it will look bloody fantastic. We do need to bring this out now, though. We do need to bring this out to match the windows, don't we? Uh, oh, that's going to look so bad. I feel like... Yeah, I'm going to have to get the windows in first to see what that looks like. I feel like I want to bring this out another one. If that's going to poke out to there... I want this out one more. So you may do that another day. Let me work on some more of the edges and the corners. So we can probably fill this one up a little bit more. Now, again, there is going to be a second floor. So I may as well get something plugged in for the second floor now as well. I need to work on this, but I kind of don't want it coming the whole way out. I feel like plates might be a good idea here. Let's do that now whilst I remember. Bang, bang. And here. Come okay, on. Bosh. Bush, and then we will work out what we're doing with the rest of that at a later date. Probably throw it there to make it look even. And copy rotation, throw that there also to make it look even. So, not looking too dramatically amazing, I know. But trust me, you, you just need to entrust in my vision, Primation. Entrust in my vision. It's all going to be okay. Again, the garage is going to be on the left-hand side over there, tearing off to the left, attached to the actual house as well. So, we've got a couple of windows here. I feel like another one... Maybe not right in the corner, because I'll do some building in the corners and put some things in there as well. So maybe like there we'll have another window. And one, two, and then it comes to the back again. We've got 200 blocks, which isn't bad. Should I build out some more? Let's build out a bit more. Right, it's been expanded out to here. So this is still going to come the whole way back still, and it's now got to come across. So we'll dig up some more of this as well. But you get a kind of idea of the rough size we're going for. I need to work on some supporting structure. So one, two, three, four, five... I like to do about four or five for the pillars, just to make sure it's got enough structural integrity. Centered bottom, that'll do nicely. And then can we go to this one and pick the standard one centered? I think that's the one. Yes. So two, three. No, it's two, isn't it? Bugger. No, it's three. Yeah, it's three. Okay. And then copy you. And then bosh. Yes, that fits perfectly. All well and good. Let's fill in the ceiling as well. So what I'm thinking is, again, it's going to be more of an aesthetic build. I don't really do aesthetic builds. I'm learning as I go. I mean, I've got an idea of what I'm going to do. I just, I've never actually built this kind of building before. So it's fun and exciting for me and hopefully you're going to enjoy it as I'm going. So we're going to come in the door here as I keep saying, in through here and then I'll, I'll have like a kitchen or something at the side or, you know, a way to come in. Or what's it like greeting people? Um, and then I need to put some windows here as well. And then I'm going to have uh, probably like a library and things like that. And we're going to start stocking it. So when I get books, rather than selling them, I'm going to start saving them to put in a library. And just little bits and pieces to make kind of, you know, the post-apocalyptic survival kind of thing a bit nicer and bearable. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Uh, there's two more next to it. So one, two. I'm just trying to match at either side. Let's have a quick check. So there's one window, one, two. And inside window, one window, one, two. And in here... We're going to have, uh, I don't want to put a thing down, but we're going to have like garage doors right here. It might come out to like here so we can drive in the garage and park up. And then over here, we'll have stairs somewhere. So let's bring this out just ever so slightly. Just bring it to the end anyway, might as well. And then probably around here, we'll have stairs going up and that will bring us into the compound. That sounds good. That sounds like a plan. Okay, before the night is out, you're getting a rough idea of what's going on now. Before the night is out, there's something I want to kind of show you. And I want to show you now because it's what's going to make this place look so bloody lovely. So what I need is a little bit of paint. So I'm going to grab that super duper duper quick. Uh, paint should be in the top right here. Uh, paint, where's the paint brush? Where did I put paint brush? Right here. Anything else that I need? I feel like that might be okay just for the time being. Actually, whilst I'm here, can I put some glass on the go? Where is the thing? If I was glass, what would I be? Just glass blocks should be okay. Let's just throw a couple minutes in here. Yep. And how many can you make? Uh, one. <laughs> You're going to make one. What do you need? Uh, oh, you need sand and clay. Bugger. Okay, you know what? You do your thing. We'll sort that out in the night time. Uh, during the night time tonight, we're doing some grinding. I've got to get some lead and some iron. The key things that we need. So that's all one in good. So what I'm thinking, it's not even the first floor that's going to need the painting. It's the second floor. But if I can get up into this corner over here... I hopefully can give you a bit of an idea of what I'm thinking in regards to paintage. So if we just do something like this, 
and build this up a little bit more. We've got 29 blocks left. God damn, that's not a lot. Uh, we need to build the attic as well, or the loft. Depends what country you're in. Depends on how you say it. So let's just do that. And then is this uh, is this the plate or yes, this is the plate. So let's copy and copy rotation. Bosh. Okay. Bosh. And it's going to be a bit of a bigger one, I feel. And then copy rotation here as well. Bang, 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 and copy you. Right, that should be a bit nice. Have a little check what it looks like now. Should I try and get something built up for you? I know it looks ugly. Just you've got to bear with me, okay? You've got to bear with me. Okay? <laughs> Just trust me, trust me. Now, the reason why I want to build to the top is, oh, is you know, I've got these little accents, or I keep calling them accents, but whatever they're called, these things here. For the tops, to be a bit different. What I would like to do is use the wood because it's a lot lighter and actually use, oh, are they called pillars or poles? Hold on, what are they called? Yeah, just pole. Pole. I'm going to use pole. <laughs> what pole is going to do is act as like a, a way of making this base look pretty. So if I can get, say, like you, 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 and just bring this across there. When I go up, I'm going to have like the diagonal ones going across as well. So like a proper English build, a proper England build, mate, a proper England build. If we can do this, and then the idea is down here will be a certain color. That red brick decayed. I feel like red, that is probably the best brick. So this here will be like a red brick. So let me get this painted up. So red brick at the front, just to give you an idea of what we're going to go for. Now, should I make this concrete? I don't know. I feel like we probably should because most of our cooking and crafting will probably be in here for the time being until I get the factory up. So it might be an idea. I'm not sure. So this bit will be like brick, but here will be more of a cream color. Is there a cream I could steal from you, young sir? Uh, drywall cream or concrete white? Oh, I should have gone for the drywall cream. Let's check that out first. Uh, you're quite ugly. That's what she said. You're quite ugly. I don't know. I are you a good one or not? You're not bad. I don't want it white. White is just too... Sorry. White is just too bright. It really is just too bright. So cream might be a nicer color. But we're going to go with like the brick and the cream. But when we come around here, Bramation, this is where it's going to be nice. This is going to be... Let me, let me get some of this painted in and I can show you what I mean. Paint surface. Oh, Bella was talking about this. Paint surface. <gasps> You've just made my dreams come true. Yes, paint all of the surfaces. Make all of the surfaces painted. Yes, yes. Oh, that is phenomenal. Oh, that is a, uh, that is a bit. Oh, that is a bit magical. I, I truly like that. Yes, do it, do it. Uh, I don't want to paint the top of that surface just yet. But as for these bits right here, they're not going to be. They're going to be like a, a reddy brownie color, maybe like. I don't know why I went all high pitch there. Uh, no, that's completely and utterly ugly. Uh, let's try like a dark red. Uh, no, that's again very, very ugly. Let's have a check through and see what we can find. Oh, a doe peach. Ah, oh, we found it. We have found what I was looking for. A doe peach is the one. So yes, a few bits of like brick going around, a lot of cream, and then messing with some peach to give it kind of some nice colors at the top. Not on the bottom layer, but definitely on the top. So the top's where it's gonna look super duper beautiful, plus the roof as well. And yeah, it's gonna be amazing. But Primation, I leave this one here. I don't know how long this video's gonna be. It might be a bit um a bit shorter than usual, but I wanted to get some of this base built, and obviously base building takes some time. Oh, I've got to get out of it because this 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 frame rate is killing me. Base building does take some time. If you missed all, do go check it out. As for me, it's 10 at night. I need to get some. I need to get some gas, which we have none of. Bugger! I've got to go and use the auger to grab some gas. Have I got any gas? 300. <gasps> that is not a lot. Give me this. Give me this. I'm gonna go grab some oil shell, make some gas, and then once I actually get some gas in the night time, I am then gonna go and get some lead from somewhere and some iron from the iron mine but in the meantime i hope you've enjoyed smash like if you did which first time here consider subscribing if you've been around for quite some time consider hitting the notification bell and becoming a super subscriber but as always keep crafting for survival i'll see you all in the next episode oh, bugger <laughs> out of gas already come little guy head back to base oh i can hear something go make some gas yeah and hopefully don't die in the process remation i'll see you in the next one